when I was young, I was short and fat. They used to call me Biscuit. <laughs> I'm like, why you call me Biscuit? It's because you look like a Biscuit. You have no neck. I'm like, man. My brothers used to make fun of me. Hey, run, Biscuit, run. And I used to go run in like that. <laughs> I told him, no, man. There's no way I'm going to give you money. And you know what he did? In front of the class, he goes, dude, you're not going to give me money? I said, no. He goes, Boom. and he hits me, man. Like, seriously, like, who gets hit on the first day of school? Like, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> So he hits me, and there he had a little twerk on the floor, you know, shaking. <laughs> Other girls in the class were like, oh, I feel sorry for him, you know? <laughs> we can't just leave him here, you know? <laughs> Twitching. <laughs> Let's drag him to the clinic. I'm like, I'm like, leave me alone, guy, you know? <laughs> so there we are, school shopping at the flea market. Well, y'all don't, don't go school shopping at the flea market? Oh, man, I guess I'm the only one. And then out of nowhere, all you hear is, Mijo, look, look, mijo, on sale, on sale. I'm like, mom, put those down. They're like purple with the white stripe. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what's that white stripe? Mijo, it's a ruler, multifunctional. I'm like, mom, I'm not gonna be like measuring stuff in class. Like, here, let me measure that. <laughs> Y'all know what the check is? Okay, the check is where they turn you around and she puts her hands like, like, like down your pants, right? And she's like, let me see if you have room to grow. I'm like, mom, seriously? Man, this guy picked on me, he bullied me, he called me names. It was, it was literally one of the lowest times in my life. Knowing what I know now, I should have told a parent, I should have told an adult, I should have told a principal. I should have done those things, but I never did. And because of that, he picked on not only me, but he picked on like five or six other people. Okay, out of all the school shooters that have ever went up and started shooting up schools, 71% of them were bullied. In fact, there's a new word for it. It's not suicide anymore. It's bully side. They get bullied so much that they take their own lives. And for sure, I wasn't gonna tell my brother. My brother's crazy. Like my brother will show up to school like with the crowbar. Like, tell me who he is. You know, <laughs> tell me who hit you. I'm like, was that him? I'm like, no, man, that was Jaime. Jaime, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. That wasn't him, man. And I remember I told my mom. I said, Mom, look, mom. I don't know what I'm gonna do after high school. But mom, if you pay for like my tuition and my books. I'll go to college. It's not where you start, it's where you end up. But to this day, I can stand before you and, you know, I have a master's degree in management. One of the things that I do is I talk to students about bullying. I'll talk about the consequences behind bullying, but not only that, I also talk about, you know, the impact that it has on a student whenever they get bullied. There's three things that I like to do during my speech. I like to connect, and I do that using humor. Uh, I, I even make fun of myself just to kind of get laughs. Uh, because I know that once I get students to laugh at me, then I can get them to listen to me and trust me. Uh, the next thing I like to do is I like to encourage. And I do that by, by saying, look, if you see somebody be bullied, I encourage you to go up to that person and help them and uh, be the voice for them. Uh, I know a lot of those students who get bullied feel like they don't have a voice for themselves. And so we have to actually go and, uh, and help them. The last thing I like to do is I like to empower. And I empower students by just challenging them to continue and finishing their education, but also doing it in a way where they are loving towards people and they are helping people along the way. You know, education is so important. One of the points that I say in my motivational speech to students is this, that when they graduate, their family graduates. And that's the truth. Every student should be able to go through that experience in their lives. The whole time he was, you know, giving his presentation, I just, was thinking about all the kids that are bullied in my school who don't have friends and I was just thinking about them. There's so many that that I've never even talked to before and and he made me understand and want to be the difference and he let me know that I could be the difference in my school. If you can have Fabian come to your school man, just book him because you know he connects. All I can do is just say book him, book him, book him. It's been an honor and a privilege to be with you today. Thank you so much for letting me share my moment.